G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we're going to look at the new checkbox capability of T Tree View. Uh, that's been introduced in Delphi 11. So we'll create a new VCL Windows application. And of course, we'll need a T Tree View. And if we go into the items editor, we'll add some items. something like that. And if we look at the properties, we see that there is now a checkboxes. So we can go in and tick our various um, tree nodes. There has also been some events. In fact, and here I've got Beyond Compare loaded with the Delphi 11 source code for vcl.com controls and the 10.4 version. And we look at the T custom tree view and we scroll down, we see there's various things for uh, checkbox and check style and some other bits and pieces um, that have been updated related to DPI scaling and some published properties such as checkboxes, check styles, and there's a couple of events um, on check state changed and changing. So the changing event, you can prevent an item from being ticked, for instance. But if we have a look at the changed event, uh, in fact, let's throw a memo on. And I'll want to use We want to use a little bit of our TTI, so I'm just going to copy and paste that and throw in our. So if we run that, when we check, we are now going to uh, checked and unchecked. And we could also have a look more simply at the node checked and checked check state property. So that's the new checkbox property on the tree view. There's obviously a little bit more complexity to it than this that I've covered here, but uh, I think this is enough to get you started. So I'm Alistair Christie. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please check out my book Code Fast in Delphi available on Amazon and LeanPub. And of course you can get a link to that from my website learndelphi.tv. I'll see you in the next video.